Hello again. So I, I said I wanted to teach you a little bit about Blackboard. Blackboard is our central hub. This is what all your courses you'll be going through and, and, and going through the content with the instructors uh, with Blackboard. So I just wanted to kind of give you a, a brief overview. You know, we start off with just a home page. Uh, all of our home pages should look very similar to this, but maybe an instructor put some fun pictures in there. Um, that's not me, but maybe someone else did. Okay, so the information page, this is very important. The last orientation video, uh, we talked about the library guides, right? Well, this will be a direct link uh, to how to get to the library guide. So if you click on the library guide, it takes you to this page right here. This is our library guide. Okay, this is our house. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why it's important and what resources we have in the library guide. Okay? Um, Something that our professors wanted to do was provide you with some readings if you want to do some readings. These are just optional books that they found was interesting uh, that while well, they were reading, okay, uh, as they were reading their, on their Sunday afternoons. And so uh, feel free to read these if you want. It's not required. Um, if you are local and want to go to our library system, they should have these books to check out. Uh, but those are just some, some interesting books you want to use. Um, graduate school can be difficult. I, we talked about we had the Writing Center. Um, one of the things we also want to do is support you with the APA. So in College of Education, we use APA format in all of our graduate courses. And so this one, uh, this tab, just has uh, different guidelines to be doing, some hip helpful points. It does have the, the publication, the, the, the manual on here. It might be changing soon, so be cautious about buying it right away. Of course, our library does have it if you're local. Uh, but it just gives you uh, some resources to help you as you're trying to learn APA again. Uh, some of you use MLA as undergrad, or, or some of you uh, have not used APA in a while. And so we want to help you with that a little bit. Um, another important thing that we have is a library help page. Okay, so our library, uh, they did their homework and they found a lot of different education databases uh, for teachers or for athletics. And so they listed it under the library tab here. Okay, for here, you can go right into and search the library. So maybe you'll do uh, effective coaching techniques in soccer. Okay, and we search and we're going to find billions of articles probably on effective, oh, just 21, okay? And so you can go ahead and, and choose any of these articles if that's what you'll be looking off of, okay? Um, and maybe if I said football, that'd been a little bit different, okay? Uh, but like I said, just clicking on the full text with that, uh, you'll get that article from our library systems. Okay, so that is one way that you can use this tab in the library guide. Another is you can look for books or just specific journals. Um, but uh, another thing that we like to look at is the library loan, interlibrary loan. If we do not have an article, we don't have access to an article, uh, we are a part of the South Carolina library systems, meaning that if uh, another university has the article, they will give us the article uh, for us to use. They will scan it and email it to us. And so if you ever can't get an article, uh, you click on the interlibrary loan and fill out the information for that. And then within two or three days, you'll get the article. So. Um, it does require you not to wait to the last second to do your homework assignment, though, because then we've been missing out on that. So, uh, so that's an important feature. Um, the library system also wanted to talk about uh, a link to our library homepage, the library hours, and frequently asked questions. Those are to everybody. But uh, it's important to know that, our, like our writing center, our library has people that's devoted to work with our graduate students. And so you can text them and do a chat with them. And it might be um, just asking about how to search better or a, a more effective way to search for an article. It might be um, you're stuck with it or you're, you're trying to find um, interlibrary loan. Uh, so just go ahead and text them or call them or email. Um, something that's really helpful that I know our doctoral students have done is um, the schedule a research appointment right here. Okay, and so um, that's really important because, like I said, you know, in graduate courses we want to have a conceptual idea of what the research is telling us, and sometimes we it's just better to go talk to somebody that that's their life. Their life is research and library, and so that's a great thing to do. A lot of our doctoral students do this, and I expect our master's students can use that as well. It's totally free, and then it talks about how to log in for people off campus. 
Okay, so that's our library uh, tab. Probably one of the most useful, useful things. Useful things. Okay, a uh, quick help resource guide. Okay, it talks about academic calendars, talks about uh, faculty directory, scholarships, tuitions. And so what happens is we think about as graduate schools, we're not undergrad anymore. And so a lot of these services we don't think really pertains to us. But it does. Okay, you pay a tuition here. And so you have all the same services that our undergrads does. So student success, counseling services, feel free to go use those uh, by making phone calls, scheduling appointments, or actually coming on campus to meet with them. If you are local, feel free to use our recreation center. You know, you can go get a, an ID, a free ID, and then you can go use our recreation center if you're a student here. If you want to go to the sporting events, well, you can get a student ID for that. And then you can go to the sporting events for free. So these are all different websites and links to help you as a student, not just a, not for undergrad students, but graduate students as well. We have the master's handbook for all of our master's programs. Talks about uh, probations and 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 what's the schedule look like and and transfer credits and all that fun stuff. Uh, that's all housed in the the master's handbook. All right, so the next set is, is depending on what program you're in, okay? So if you're in the online, uh, the literacy coaching or the teacher leadership program, then you can choose here. We're in the phys education sport coaching. Even though it's online, it's still going to be the phys education sport coaching program, okay? So if you hover over that, if you zoom in, because uh, you can't see that well, is you'll see all the lists of courses that you'll take while in the HPS um, MED degree. And so if you click on one of them, you will find all the required readings for the, the um, course. Now this is obviously be updated throughout the semester, but right now these are the three listed. And so if you want to read the case and article, you click on it and it does it, it searches for you already. Okay, so you don't actually have to go looking for the database. All our instructors will do this for you. Any required readings that you have in class, um, they will have on the LibGuide for you. And I'll show you where you kind of see how that is for the learning modules. Okay? But our goal, working with the library systems, you're working with the writing center, is just to support you as much as possible. Because okay? we want to we help you be better phys education teachers and coaches by using research. Okay? So all of our LibGuides or are, are all of our Blackboards are about the same. Okay, so we go to our learning modules, and it's broken up by weeks. Okay, so if I click on week one, um, these are going to be very similar uh, for every course. You'll see an introduction for the week of what they're planning on doing. Okay, you have our tasks. This is a checklist if you're a type A type of person. You don't actually have to print it out and, and do a check with it, but if you are that kind of person, that we have that for you. Okay, so for week one, they have to do the discussion board post. They have two articles to read and turn in the write-ups, and they have a personal research reflection. Those are your assignments for the week. That's, that's what's due that week. Okay, um, then we look at it and say, well, where are those articles at? So we go to the reading materials tab or folder, and it lists them. These are in APA format, and so you can either do one of two things. You can go search for these articles yourself or go to the LibGuide, okay? And so they should be on the LibGuide for you, hyperlinked for you, so you just access it, okay? So that's kind of our goal, but that we just wanted to provide you that. And then the last thing for each week um, is the assignments tab, okay? So for the different assignments for the week, you'll have... Um, all the outlines and the guidelines that you would have for the assignments. And so, and then other than that, you know, we'll have a syllabus and schedule and you have discussion boards. You might have different um, contact information forms, however the instructor wants to build it. But the core is the information page where the library guide is, the learning modules, the syllabus, and the discussion board. So, um, and then also if you're not familiar with Blackboard, um, there is a grading uh, tab down here that you can check your grades. So uh, I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about your Blackboard shell or about what's due in the timeline of the instructors, uh, make sure you talk to the instructors. Um, if you don't uh, get a clear answer, if you want to talk to me as your director, I, I would be happy to answer any questions for that as well. Uh, but, uh, but I hope that's helpful. Good luck.